How strong is China's WZ-7 recon drone? With a flying altitude of 20,000 meters, enemy targets can be found at high altitudes, but Japanese fighter jets can't reach them if they want to track them? Let's take a closer look in this video. Some time ago, there was such a piece of news that excited countless Chinese people. That is, a large Chinese drone broke through the first island chain and was tracked and photographed by Japanese fighter jets while flying at high altitude. But something happened while taking pictures, which surprised the Japanese. That was when they want to approach the drone for reconnaissance, but find that the drone was flying too high. No matter how much their fighter jets flew, they found that they couldn't reach the height of the drone at all, and they couldn't even see the clear appearance of the drone. The news directly surprised the Japanese. We must know that in the past, the angle of view of Japanese shooting Chinese equipment was basically flat and very clear. It is even better than the photos taken by the Chinese photographers themselves. So many Chinese netizens joked that the Japanese are the dedicated photographers for China. But this time is different. No matter how hard they try, they can't catch the trace of the Chinese reconnaissance drone. They even said bluntly that the performance of this weapon was really too advanced. So how good is the performance of China's high-altitude reconnaissance drones? And why make Japan so flustered? This large drone that shocked Japan is China's WZ-7 UAV. WZ-7 is a large high-altitude unmanned reconnaissance aircraft independently developed by China. Not only does it have extremely high speed, it can even fly for a long time at an altitude of 20,000 meters. This altitude belongs to the stratosphere, and neither enemy fighter jets nor anti-aircraft missiles can effectively intercept targets in this area. In addition to its high flying altitude, this weapon is also particularly stealthy, and it is difficult for the enemy's detection system to detect it when flying. Therefore, WZ-7 UAV can use its powerful stealth capability to easily break through the enemy's detection system. After breaking through the enemy's detection system, it can also conduct long-range reconnaissance and detection of important enemy targets. As long as it detects the target, it can transmit the detected information back to the rear commander and missile launch vehicle. It can also guide the launched missiles to accurately hit the enemy's target. And this weapon has a more powerful function, that is, its battery life is as high as 10 hours, which can conduct long-term detection and detection of enemy targets and battlefield environments. It's pretty much the equivalent of a small spy satellite. WZ-7 has a total length of 14.33 meters and a wingspan of 24 meters. It is not the outside impression of the drone toy, such a large head, the Japanese pilot cannot take a clear picture. It can be seen that the flight height of WZ-7 has been much higher than the Japanese fighter jet. Therefore, it can be said that the Japanese Air Force wants to take high-definition photos of WZ-7 in the air in a short period of time. It can be said that it is really not an easy task. So what are the unique features of WZ-7 UAV? WZ-7 UAV is known as China's most advanced high-altitude and long-endurance. Unmanned reconnaissance aircraft.it is not only huge in size, but also has a load capacity of up to 650 kilograms. It can carry a variety of electronic equipment and more fuel to maintain long-term endurance. Moreover, WZ-7 is also equipped with a Chinese-made turbojet engine, which is not only fuel-efficient, but also powerful, and the fastest flight speed can reach 750 kilometers per hour. If the flight mode is adjusted to the economy mode, the battery life can be increased by another 
From the appearance, although WZ-7 is quite similar to the American Global Hawk UAV, you can find that the frame design of WZ-7 is unique just by taking a look. It adopts the design of overlapping wings, which is the first of its kind in the world. This design can significantly improve the body strength of the WZ-7 aircraft. Although the fuselage of WZ-7 looks very thin, it can maintain good stability when it vibrates violently in the air. From the appearance to the painting, WZ-7 has done a good job in stealth effect, and it is difficult for the enemy's radar to detect this drone. Moreover, the interior of WZ-7 is also equipped with many high-tech equipment, such as ultra-high resolution cameras, infrared thermal imagers, digital TVs, and synthetic aperture radars. It is equipped with almost all equipment used for high-altitude reconnaissance. Coupled with excellent battery life, WZ-7 can quickly detect and search a very large and extensive area. Even if the flying altitude of WZ-7 is raised to about 20,000 meters, it can still accurately distinguish whether the armored troops on the ground are trucks or tanks. If WZ-7 needs to take high-definition photos, as long as the mode is adjusted, it can send photos of 50 centimeters level objects to the command center. In actual combat, WZ-7 can not only play the role of a reconnaissance aircraft, but also shine in electronic warfare. Its wings can carry a variety of equipment coupled with electronic suppression pods. WZ-7 becomes an unmanned electronic warfare aircraft. And relying on the modular design? The loading module on the belly of the WZ-7 aircraft can also be flexibly replaced according to different tasks. Even after replacing the radar equipment module, it can also turn itself into a large UAV reconnaissance and early warning platform, which can be said to have unlimited upgrade potential. In general, whether it is the basic parameters of speed, altitude, or range, or the efficiency and effect of performing high-altitude reconnaissance missions, WZ-7 represents the world's highest level of high-altitude, high-speed unmanned reconnaissance aircraft. However, in terms of comprehensive performance, due to the differences in the strategic and tactical missions of UAVs between China and the United States, there is still a certain technical gap between the WZ-7 UAV and the American Global Hawk. And the WZ-7 high-altitude UAV developed from China's Xianglong UAV, with a high probability will be used in the ocean direction to monitor the position and dynamics of enemy large surface ships and submarines, and is also an important weapon to support China's anti-ship ballistic missile operations. With the mass production and service of such a Chinese condor, China will hold an air strategic trump card that cannot be underestimated. At the same time, WZ-7 can also be used for air emergency rescue, emergency dispatch, disaster investigation, emergency communication recovery, etc. So all in all, the WZ-7 UAV will play a very important role in China's military tactical system and civilian fields in the future. It is worth mentioning that the US theater website believes that it was no coincidence that China's WZ-7 chose to fly over the Miyako Strait at that time. Because the Chinese Navy's Liaoning Aircraft Carrier Battle Group had just finished training in the Western Pacific Ocean, and was preparing to cross the Miyako Strait again to return to mainland China. China's WZ-7 high-altitude unmanned reconnaissance aircraft sailed out of the Miyako Strait at that time, not only to deter Japan, but also to scout the way for the Liaoning Aircraft Carrier Battle Group and conduct intelligence and reconnaissance work in advance. The WZ-7's nose position is also equipped with a large satellite communication antenna, 
and is equipped with a two-way data link system, which is fully capable of real-time communication with the Liaoning Aircraft Carrier Battle Group. The WZ-7 drone's 7,000 km base range is likely to further improve the Liaoning Carrier Battle Group's situational awareness in an ocean-going combat environment. At present, there are two types of large UAVs in the world. One is a high-altitude long-endurance UAV, and the other is a medium and long-endurance UAV. High-altitude and long-endurance drones are currently only produced in China and the United States. While Russia is currently developing such a drone, it is not yet in service. High-altitude and long-endurance drones usually use turbofan or turbojet jet engines, with a maximum flight altitude of about 20,000 meters and a maximum flight speed of nearly 800 kilometers per hour. The benefits of flying at high altitudes are less air resistance, faster flight speed, less chance of being shot down by anti-aircraft fire, and flying high and seeing far. Therefore, high-altitude long-endurance drones are also known as strategic-level equipment. At present, military drones and related technologies are developing rapidly. The world's military powers are also vigorously supporting the development of their own military drones. It is foreseeable that drones will play a greater role on the battlefield in the future. With the continuous development of drone technology, the Chinese military drone team is also growing. The construction of unmanned equipment of the Chinese Air Force is forming a system by shortening the gap, and the three steps plan for airspace integration is gradually realizing the strategic service of the Air Force, which has become a new growth point for the Air Force to enhance its combat effectiveness. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.